welcome back to Chef Wannabe's Life. Today we are making my classic Rice Krispie treats. Now, these involve all of your usual suspects. I just have a secret ingredient I add to mine, and truly it's probably not all that secret. So for most of you who live in the States, you know all about Rice Krispie treats. This is mostly just to share my Rice Krispie to butter to marshmallow ratio that I think is perfection. Nobody wants dry Rice Krispie treats. Yuck. This is my favorite treat and I have been making these since the beginning of time and perfecting my gooiness. So you want to get your butter melted. Remember the full recipe will be linked in the description box below. It will be the first link. It is free to access and while you're at my website, make sure to follow it directly or get email updates. Get your marshmallows in and this is where my patient just tests me. It tests me. You need to melt these low and slow. If they get brown, it changes the flavor. If they get burnt, it ruins the flavor. And I want that perfect Rice Krispie treat flavor. So while I'll speed this up for you, this is a low and slow process. Just keep stirring, get that butter coating these treats are going to leave you with the tiniest little buttery marshmallow goodness on the bottom of your marshmallows that you can even imagine. I always use a spatula, that way I can kind of scrape as I'm going as well. And then I add my um, little secret ingredient of vanilla. If you don't add vanilla to your Rice Krispie Treats, please give it a try. It will change your Rice Krispie Treat life forever. Mm, look how nice and smooth that is. Oh, delish. For some reason I have to stir it while it's all smooth and creamy like that for a little bit because it gives me some sort of internal gratification. There goes the vanilla. And, it, and initially it makes your marshmallow discolor a tiny bit, but you once you put the marshmallows in, or I mean the Rice Krispie Treats in, get out nobody will know. Stir it up, stir it up carefully. Now you can put this in a 9x13, that's what I do, or you can put this in like a 9x9 nine nine or something and they're going to be really tall, which is great too. I just enjoy them in a 9x13. I know this is a really simple recipe, but for me, again, it's the ratio of the marshmallow butter and Rice Krispies. And then you're going to dump them into, I spray my pan, you can butter it. I mean, yes, there's tons of butter in there, but I, I don't know. I don't make the rules, people. I didn't make the rules. And for me, Rice Krispie Treats must always, 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 always be topped with sprinkles. Not the hard break your teeth off sprinkles, but the nice soft Jimmy sprinkles that go on ice cream. I hope you enjoy these very traditional treats and maybe even make them for your kids at the holidays. Until we meet again, as always, do not forget to eat good food. Bye, everybody. Bye.